Hello, children. Ready for another story with Auntie Mal? We are reading Topsy and Tim Go on Holiday by Jean and Gareth Adamson today. Let's start. Early one morning, Dad called. Come along, Tiddlers. We are ready to start. Topsy and Tim ran to the car carrying their buckets and spades. They were going for a holiday at the seaside. Can you see the buckets and the spades? First, they drove to the garage to get the car ready for the journey. Mummy put the petrol in, then Dad checked the tires. The windscreen could do with the wash, said Mummy. Topsy and Tim fetched the water in their seaside buckets. All aboard, shouted Dad. Topsy and Tim waved as they drove away. Goodbye, everybody, called Topsy. We are going to the seaside. They sped along until the town was far behind. Then they had to slow right down behind a big noisy tractor. Suddenly Tim shouted, we've left our buckets behind. Never mind, said Mummy. We'll buy new buckets when we get there. But Tim began to cry. I want my old bucket, he sobbed. We are all getting hungry, said Mummy. Let's stop and have a picnic. Dad drove down a narrow country lane and pulled up by a farm gate. Here's a good place for a picnic, he said. Soon it was time to go. We must pick up all our litter, said Mummy. What shall we put it in? asked Tim. Mummy gave them an empty carrier bag for the litter. We could have put it in our good old seaside buckets, said Topsy. Now remember, you must do the same. If you don't have anything to put the rubbish in, let's say like a garbage can, Please put it in a bag and take it home with you where you can dispose of it. Remember that. Let's continue with the story. Dad began to turn the car around. Suddenly, the back dropped down with a bump. We've gone into the ditch, said Dad. He looked worried. We need help, he said. And here we are, miles from anywhere. I can hear a car, said Topsy. The sound came nearer and stopped. Then a man looked over the hedge high above them. It's a friendly giant, shouted Topsy and Tim. The man wasn't a giant. He was sitting up in his tractor in the field behind the hedge. But he was friendly. He fixed a rope from his tractor to their car. Then the tractor tugged the car out of the ditch. Thank you, called Topsy and Tim. They drove on and soon came to the top of a hill. I can see the sea, shouted Topsy. I wish we had our old buckets, said Tim. Soon they reached their holiday village. Dad began to unload their luggage. Hello, he said. What have I found? Our buckets, shouted Topsy and Tim. Topsy and Tim ran straight off to the beach and filled their buckets with seaside sand. I suppose they had a very jolly time after that, don't you? Well, that's the end of the story. I hope you enjoyed reading with Auntie Mal. Goodbye.